2024 is a massive year for MMORPGs. We first thought that 2023 would be the massive year, but there has been delays on delays on delays on every single MMORPG. We got to test out some betas of most of these MMORPGs, but let's look at my list of the best MMORPGs open world games coming out in 2024 number six on the list we have a perfect new world now perfect new world had its beta in november i got to play it and test it out and i'm guessing this is just a prediction but the release date will be early 2024 maybe quarter one or quarter two uh, depending on their feedback and how much they're going to work on the game uh, and this game will be releasing on pc steam you can already like pre-register on steam i played on steam when it was in a beta now this game is the easter style fantasy game uh, it's a very story heavy game uh a lot of like storyline a lot of focus on storyline very cool cutscenes and immersive story and it's more of a monster hunter style mmorpg you hunt monsters in uh, the open world uh, with players or alone and a lot of like fights are based around like finding these monsters each monster has like the combat in this game is based on like defeating these monsters which has like a break bar so very like again monster hunter game hit their weakness points and the combat overall it feels uh, very fast paced i really enjoyed it it kind of has like a feel between like action combat and tap target while you can tap target uh, characters you can also like use your combat freely uh, uh, or use your uh, skills freely without having like a target right so it's like a mix between tap target and action combat now uh, the combat overall felt very good it's very fast paced a lot of like dodge mechanics a lot of bosses do a lot of like attacks they have to dodge it requires strategy it requires you to actually plan ahead uh and there's based on like a combo skills use a lot of different combos that you can use put like debuffs make other skills stronger so the combat overall did feel good a lot of, like fast uh paced however what i did not enjoy with the uh this game is there was very few classes to choose between this only like three four uh four classes i think to choose between there was no holy trinity there was gender lock on the class there was only one female class that you could play so far so i did not like that out you guys know how i feel about gender lock and how i feel about like having just a few classes i did not like that however that did have a lot of character customization so again it is savable they can add more classes they can add uh remove the gender lock but this game doesn't seem to have like a holy trinity ending it's like a dps based mmorpg now uh overall opinion i it's the reason i put it on the lowest of my list it does have a little bit of potential but it wasn't as exciting i've seen most of the stuff in this mmo in other mmorpgs but it would be like a, a new game to check out and test out and have fun with now number five on the list we have the quinfall i made a, a video on the quinfall earlier this year the game was supposed to actually launch this year but i did say to everybody there was no chance that it was going to launch this year like they haven't had any testing uh that was and the game is like the promise and the potential that this game has is probably more than any game on this list and it's going to be hard to meet uh this hype they have created now the beta the first beta is going to be in quarter one of 2024 that's already official and the release date my predicted release date is going to be probably the end of the year or early next year depending on how their beta goes but this game is promised to have the biggest map the biggest world you've ever seen in an mmorpg this also has crazy amount of customization very detailed customization on your characters which is really good it has a potential holy trinity by looking at some of the skills uh some of the classes in the trailers it seems like there might be like a healer might be a tank but this is not confirmed now what is really uh, exciting about this game is, is it's kind of like similar vibes to pax day which players can control uh, most of the stuff in the world so uh, the taverns will be like run by players farms will be run by players players can choose themselves what they want to be in this game what kind of stuff they want to run you can be like a woodcutter you can be a crafter you can be a fisherman you can specialize in something and you can sell that to other players because that's how uh, the world will be run very like player driven economy and it depends on what you do yourself which is really nice the world will be like dynamic it depend on seasons depends on where you are in the world if you're in like winter uh, uh winter areas uh, rainy areas like if you're in a 
area where it rains not enough your farm might suffer from it uh depending on the rain they might open new caves new monsters might appear so it's very like a dynamic world uh, depending on the weather depending on the seasons uh even the npcs some npc shows up during certain seasons so during certain times same with quests so there's a lot of like very like exciting stuff uh that they're trying to do like kind of like what throne of liberty uh try to do with their game and they also have like water exploration so you can go out in uh, the ocean with your ships with your crew with your guild and fight other uh, people uh, on the sea or fight monsters at sea like sea krakens and stuff so very exciting stuff they have like mount breeding so depending on your uh where you are where you see so if you need like heavy you have heavy load you need to like carry you want might have breed like a massive elephant if you want something more quick and easy you have like a horse so a lot of very exciting stuff massive scale pvp fights is going to be like uh, maps and cities underneath the ground flying up in the air so what i think is this game has promised a lot of stuff do, do i think they can live up to it no this is just too this the stuff they have promised and the stuff they have talked about is too crazy but can we get like a probably like a decent mmo maybe maybe we can get like a decent mmo but that is on number five this game will be coming out for pc like i said and my prediction is late 2024 or early 2025 while the beta is in quarter one number four on this list i would usually have this game higher it is taurus land because uh, you guys know i've been very excited for taurus land's uh, release but with their controversy Diversity that they had uh, and all the issues that's why i put it on number four however they have talked a lot about uh the changes that they're going to do to the game uh like removing gender lock or reducing the pay to win all that stuff so it still has a little bit of hope for taurus and we'll see what it's all about but my predicted release date is quarter one or quarter two of 2024 again it's not confirmed it's my prediction the game will be coming out for pc and on mobile by tencent being published by level infinite in the, this game is like the traditional classical uh mmo or vibe to it like you do you it's very pve focused you're gonna enter do hard mechanical raids based on the holy trinity you're gonna have classical like tank role healing role dps role uh all the classes uh are locked you can like swap between classes each class has two trees though so you can run like a warrior uh, a tank a dps or a healer dps or two dps different dps trees it has like pvp features in this game so it's have arenas uh and some battlegrounds but no like massive scale uh pvp uh it has like cool exploration a crafting system mythic dungeons normal dungeons normal like ge progressive gearing uh system when it comes to like your gear you go from like a normal rare epic gear get some set bonuses so very like traditional style mmorpg very like fantasy style uh graphics uh a lot of like people might see this game being like kind of inspired from wow uh but with a tap target system and the skills overall uh they feel good it's it's a lot of like based on like combo skills like some skills buff other skills which uh buff other skills so it's very like combo uh, oriented uh, combat but it's like a full-on tap target uh, again it's gonna be exciting checking it out but again after like the controversy they had it's not as much hype for this game as i had before but i will be checking it out when it releases now number three on this list is a game i've been recently playing called throne and liberty now uh they had the official launch in korea in december and i am guessing this is a prediction again another predicted release date by me it's going to be quarter one to quarter two 2024 it is being published by Amazon uh, uh, in the Western uh, region. And this game will be coming out for both PC and console with maybe a chance of like mobile streaming, like they said, through their application. But this game, it has more like a realistic type of graphics, kind of like gives you like a, a lineage vibe, black desert vibe. But overall, I had a good experience playing Throne of Liberty. The uh, questing and leveling was a lot of fun. Uh, it's very like PvE, PvP oriented, even though they have said that they're going to focus more on the PvE. By playing the game, it seems like it will be very like PvP focused. A lot of like massive Zerg PvP battles, uh, not... Uh, 
so uh, it still has a lot of pve content like it has like difficult dungeons it has like an open world dungeon grinding a lot of like mob grinding for gear very like hardcore classic style mmo where you grind mobs and uh, raids and dungeons over and over to get loot but also a lot of pvp battles like controlling territories to get extra resources so want to be joining guilds and also have some pay to win features which i did not like so hoping we get to see some changes for the western release and that is why throwing liberty isn't that higher on the list if it uh I, again i had a great time i will be checking out when it releases but it definitely has stuff that it, it needs to take a look at that it probably needs a little more polishing uh, and a little more changes but throwing liberty another exciting uh game that will be definitely releasing 2024 because it's already released in korea so they just have to do some changes and uh, so maybe some quality of life some polishing before they release it for the western uh after getting some more feedback number two on this list we have a blue protocol which is releasing 2024 and and there's no uh, official date yet and this one is really hard to predict because usually i give you guys like a quarter one quarter two but this one i'm just gonna say 2024 that's the safest bet because this game had so many delays you guys have no idea it launched in uh, japan but we still haven't heard anything is being published by amazon uh, and it's going to be on PC and console. And Amazon has both Throne of Liberty and Blue Protocol to, uh, to publish now. So we don't know which one they're going to prioritize. But the reason I put Blue Protocol so high is because... It's not because it is that good. It's more of like the other games that are releasing uh, kind of has like more things they need uh, fixing on. Because Blue Protocol, I already know what Blue Protocol is all about. It's been in the beta for a long time. They had like Japanese launch. Uh, the game itself, it's like anime style MMORPG. It's a Genshin Impact, but an actual mmorpg you have like anime characters you have some really cool weapons you can use a lot of cool classes that you can play with uh, a massive open world very pve oriented it's not any pvp in this game which is kind of sad but uh the devs have said that they don't want to create like any toxicity and stuff and let's be real the toxicity does come from pvp so it's very like friendly casual pve mmorpg you can enjoy a lot of like exploration you can do this game a lot of like world bosses you can fight they even have like a massive like 40 man uh, world raid boss that you can do a lot of like pve dungeons that you can play with uh, uh so overall very fun game to check out uh like it's very well made the thing with the blue protocol is is very well made it's very like high quality a lot of polishing done to the game but it's nothing uh, very like oh my god this is uh, very unique or this is super innovative it's like the typical anime style uh rpg games or gacha games but an actual proper mmorpg right uh with a lot of like high quality gameplay the gameplay felt really good when i played it i did check it out in the japan before i got banned so uh, i did yeah i did have a chance to just see what the game is all about so it's another like fun mmo that you guys can enjoy not too much like you can't really go too hardcore on it even though you can grind there's no point because it's like no pvp right it's more like a fun game a fun mmorpg to play so i'll be definitely checking out when it releases in 2024 number one on this list i have chrono odyssey another uh game that i was excited for i was hoping to test it out this year but there was no uh of no beta anything this year but they have said that it's gonna have uh, a beta in 2024 so i'm guessing the release date will probably get delayed to 2025 however we will be able to play this game potentially hopefully no NDA, but we don't know yet in 2024 uh, the game will, is releasing on console and pc steam and this game looks super good like the graphics the gameplay footage we've seen of this looks absolutely incredible it has a massive world to explore you can like climb it seems like there's a lot of different futures this, they have this new future that haven't they really said a little bit about which is the time futures the chrono future so apparently you can use the chrono clock to like travel back in time or reverse time i don't know how it's gonna work it's an mmorpg you're gonna be playing with other players how are you gonna turn back time maybe it's gonna be like a future during raid boss fights or different dungeons and stuff where you could turn back time it's gonna be interesting to see how they do it they have a lot of character customization there was this rumor about classes being like gender locked and stuff but i think they 
went away from that so now it's going to ha actually have a character customization uh player driven economy there's going to be like six classes to choose between and it seems to have like a whole trinity there's a guy with like a shield i see some guy using some healing skills uh so that's cool and this another class that i saw some so the combat in this game looks very dynamic it looks very good that's the thing i'm most excited for because it seems like in this game you're gonna have to dodge a lot you're gonna have to uh, block and parry you have to look at the perfect timings and when you're using a weapon you're not only using the weapon you're actually using like martial arts so for example the guy with the great axe he's using the great axe he's punching he's headbutting you have the guy with like the assassin daggers using the assassin daggers kicking being like fast and agile going back using a musket so he, like the assassin had like two weapons so i'm interested to see uh, how that works right so the combat looks very good a uh, very nice combination of like hitting you know using the body just not only your weapon uh to actually do damage uh it seems like they're gonna have some kind of aiming but it also seems like a lock on target so it might be like a like perfect new world like it might be like a uh as action combat slash tap target but i'm leaning more towards tap target it'll be interesting to see uh how it'll be a lot of like uh people have been uh giving saying like it gives kind of a bdo vibes which i kind of get very like a realistic style graphics but guys it looks so good it looks very clean for what we've seen so far i have high expectations from this game because the people making chrono odyssey it's 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 a good studio and for what we see in massive battles like pve battles i haven't seen too much of the pvp content in this game but there's going to be pvp content but the pve battles the massive world bosses fights look absolutely incredible with the whole fight scene like the the fights like the combat does give me like a what can i say like those uh hardcore uh, uh, st uh like dark souls game kind of combat so it's very exciting uh and i think I i'm definitely gonna like it so that is the game i have put on number one again i do not think it's gonna actually release in 2025 but we might be able to play it and make some videos to check it what it's all about in 2024 game will be coming out on console and a pc but that is my mmorpg list for 2024 now from this list i do think three or four of these games will definitely be launching even if they have delays they will be launching into 2024 other like the chrono odyssey and the quinfall i'm not so sure if they're going to be launching in 2024 but tardis land throne and liberty perfect new world and blue protocol i i can see them launching in 2024 it's a very high chance but let me know what you guys think which guys games are you guys most excited for let me know in the comments below there's also other games that i really wanted to talk about which is like pax day and uh, uh dune awakening and stuff and there's other like games but these games are like the ones i am most excited for uh but let me know in the comments below i would love to hear you guys' opinion would you guys be checking out these games i will definitely be checking out every single game on this list probably some of the games i will not will be playing too much but i will definitely be checking what they're all about thank you guys guys happy new year have a merry christmas check out this video right here and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye